Yeah, here I am with Lego looking at the Wild Fox Resort, which you can see the link to in the description. And this whole area is going to be taken over as a pleasure camp. Yeah. So we are at Kyra. We can see the, the presence is starting to be felt. Oh, God. I'm here with Rob. I'm going to wander up. Morning, Rob. Hello. Morning. <laughs> There's Lego. We're back at Kyra. Back at Kyra, yeah. So you've got tip. We're tacked on all sides. You've got loads of wind turbines over there. And now we got all this uh, activity starting here now. Let's transform this into a uh, wild fox or something it's going to be called, isn't it? Wild fox resort. The wild fox resort. Pity any real wild foxes that are here. <laughs> they won't be They'll soon be kicked off. Alright, so Rob tells me this is one of the testing machines that drills down to see what sort of minerals are below. Not much help for uh, archaeology, unfortunately. Down the front of this is going to be kind of a nature reserve for uh, reptiles and that kind of thing. <laughs> reptiles, got a lot of those here. Reptiles, <laughs> newts, newts, N newts, and they, they really. This is work on the roads already. Access roads, yeah. Yeah. They, well, the security guy he said to me, he said uh, they literally went up and go stop, and they went down. No, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for something that was depends really what cool. species it is. Yeah. 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 So here's the the castle from the the side. We usually come up around the back or straight up the front there. As you can see here it's quite formidable. And there's a Welsh flag at half mast up there. <laughs> yeah, sums it up. road that was originally there um, JCBs and stuff have gone over it and over it and they've cut in a, a big circular section in the field down the bottom and I think this is going to be part of this uh, nature reserve thing they're doing on the front of, of the fort you know. Is there any chance they're going to include the fort then or have they recognised any of this so far? They, it's, it's positive from the emails we've had that they're going to They'd like to incorporate the story into the development, but uh, of course this is all preliminary work at the minute. It's just going to be months and months and months before they actually start going in and chopping the ground up and stuff. You can see their uh, the footprints already starting to appear on this hill. Here we go. It's going to be uh, Rape of the Fair Country Mark Two is underway, folks. You know, this stream looks like it's getting in their way a bit, doesn't it, Rob? Yeah. Looks like we put that uh, concrete uh, piping in and then back for a little back for Yeah. Bit. Yeah, the nature reserve is going to do this bit of the nature of the world again, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that, uh, they're really yeah. conserving this nature, aren't they? And it's just the start, folks. It's just the start. There's the beautiful Finvi Valley, the village of Kyra below. Wonder how many people here realise what's going to be happening to their view, I wonder. Yeah, and from down here you can really feel the magnificent sight this must have been, this uh, castle. It's really quite imposing from down here. So there's kind of the far uh, the side of the, the castle, you can see all starting to clear out the roads. Bringing the hardcore to Phillips will be quarried somewhere. I can see on the distance over there, there's more piles of it. Whew. I don't think they're going to do much on the slope of uh, where the castle would have been. But it's certainly down below, there's going to be uh, a circular kind of road or, or some kind of walkway that takes, takes you around this nature area whatever it's going to be um, but the main one then is going to be over on the top from the top down on the camera side is going to be the main theme park well, that'll be accommodation and stuff isn't it? accommodation uh, dry ski slope and all that kind of stuff right. so how do you think people feel about this then well generally i think people think it's a good thing you know it's, uh, it's it will provide jobs it, it, it is good 
but we don't want the history to be lost. That's why we're doing this: is try and you know get in touch with the developers, try and tell them what they got, what they're sitting on, and how they can exploit it for everyone's benefit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, minimise the impact is the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we do need stuff up here. Since the coal mine went, uh, coal mines went. I mean, there's nothing really here, you know, in terms of employment. So this is really, it is a good thing. But we can't lose what once was. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, we can make them aware enough to. Uh, well, it'd be nice they can incorporate it, make it a selling point for the theme park, wouldn't it? You know, if they're on the site of an ancient battlefield and all that kind of thing, and yeah. an ancient castle. I mean, well, you've got a castle site that looks directly at Munnith Baton, right at the back of the valley. You know, There's really Arthur's cool. famous battlefield over there, yes. And the ancient British trackway going straight from this, over the hill, to the battlefield. So it's, it's a, you know, it's there. It's there for everyone to see. Hmm. That almost sums it up. The ugliest concrete building you've ever seen, complete with barbed wire, on a Welsh flag at half-mast. Oh, what is the most stunning valley in the whole of Wales? Ah, how can we treat a place like this? Uh, so we've got Penna Castle on top of the castle. There are two places of this name in the valley. A farmhouse between Cummer and Dufferin, which is just down there. Just ahead of us. You can just see the, the lump. Uh, and the other one is down... Uh, on the slopes of Munnith Emrock above Anissa Gwas, which is just down in Carmarthen. And that's uh, a Pena Castell as well. So it's been fortified areas uh, that we used all the way down the valley. So it seems like this is the this was the important bit. It's Mr. Shawfooted Legless over there laughing at me trying to trundle down this hill. I just wanted to just show quickly before we go, here's the uh, sort of ramparts we're talking about. Absolutely fantastic, you can't help but think that anywhere else in the world this would be, uh, <laughs> I don't know, like, like maybe World Heritage Site even, I mean look at it, it's fantastic. I mean these are proper trenches and uh, fortifications and the place is called Kyra which means uh, place of the castles of the fortress, so please treat it with uh, care when you make your development. And the point we're trying to make is that, uh, yes, the area needs this, some sort of development, needs the jobs, I hope that does well. Uh, Nigel was just telling us 600 chalets, you've seen all the brochures we put up and shared, to be in the links. Uh, how much more value as a holiday place would it have if people think they're coming to see one of the castles that fought, you know, from Roman times and also was part of the build-up to the famous King Arthur's Battle of Baden. How about that, eh? Ah, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed that and found it informative. Britain's Hidden History Group has so much more going on on our YouTube channel. The one you're watching now, there's a live stream, 8 o'clock UK time every Sunday. We speak to people like Wilson and Blackett, reprint their old books and help produce new ones. We go researching for the tops of mountains all the way down to the bottoms of caves. Busily recording the books, so you can listen to them as well and looking at mysteries and working out what we're not being taught in schools and preserving it because the physical and written evidence is rapidly disappearing. You can also find out how to read ancient writing and hieroglyphs using the Welsh language. It's amazing. It's a Facebook group where this is being discussed. Along with the website, you can buy the books and help us. Also, as you can see, there's now a Patreon page where just a few pounds a month will make all the difference in trying to keep the project going and preserve this history for future generations and also to find out for ourselves what is going on, what is Britain's hidden history. So until the next time, Hedduch! <laughs>